Oi. Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. <laughs> and today we are here to discuss Drag Race Mexico. Season 1, episode... 5? 5. 4. 5. Don't get me to lie. 5. It's episode 5. <laughs> it's episode 5. It was the girl group challenge. We're fans, I promise. <laughs> I we promise. Watched, I'm gonna say they know we are. We just watch so many we drag just, races. I can't keep up with the episode count. I'm like, oh uh, yeah, this is an episode. This, that part. This is an episode. Speaking of, what did so you much. think of this episode? Oh, uh, this is a pretty decent episode. I am up. Uh, wait, hold up. I'm getting them confused. I'm gonna say snatch game was with friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because we're gonna talk about that nonsense here in a minute. Okay. That part. <laughs> oh, I was so mad. But anyway, Mexico. Um, <sighs> I'm really enjoying this Mexico. Reaction. Like this has probably been one of my favorite seasons so far. Like this has been mm -hmm. really entertaining. Even though it's like season one, but what's wrong? I digress. How is it like season one? We've only had one season of Mexico. Oh, I thought you were referencing it to season one of American season. I'm like, baby, this is way better than season one. No, no, <laughs> but no. Yeah, I'm no. enjoying this so far. This is so far. It's, it's turning out to be one of my favorites of the year. We gotta wait till it finishes up to see. But so far, it's looking like it's gonna be one of my favorites of the year. We might rank it pretty high in our mm. yearly rankings. So I say we get into the gig. But before we do, almost forgot. We need you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially subscribe. Majority yes, of our viewers to. are not subscribed to the channel, so we would greatly appreciate if you just hit that little button and join yep. our family. This is the time of year where we start being like, so we have this goal. We would like to hit it. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So that goal, 500, we want to hit it. So let's see it now. Let's get into it. So it's after the wrongful elimination of Pixie Pixie, and I will stand on that. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> The queens come back in. They read her message. And Christian, I was really shocked of Christian in this moment. She was like, you know, I realized that other people could have been chosen for this win. I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, I was just top tier, ace boon coon. You know, mm -hmm. we, she was trying to say it without saying it, but she was like, Rahina, you should have won. That's what she was trying to say without saying it. Right. Like, Rahina, that really should have But see, yours. look, at least she can acknowledge it. Yeah, I'm like, okay, Christian, I got a little respect for you, honey. And, and, she, even, and I love she Christian even, from day one. And, you know, she even gave some credit to Galavera as well. She's like, even you could have got it. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, look at you. Look at you. I give you a look. I'm a fan. I don't know where my face. I just had it. What did I do with it? I was going to get I got some... mine. I got mine. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm going to give her just a, a small little clack for that. Okay. All right. So, um, let me see. Let's go to the next screenshot. That, my, 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 my pink so, rainbow. We go into the next day in the workroom. Everybody's coming in saying they miss Pixie. Pixie. Um, I got a random screenshot of Serena here. <laughs> Not sure why I did that. <sighs> Maybe because they played in her face this episode. But we're going to get to that. Mm. So we get Valentina's message. And then she comes into the room looking stunning. Stunning. I'm like, honey, the runway's in the next room over. What are you doing in here? You should be on the runway. Right. Now, I have a question. Yes. Is Valentina trying to transition I or believe, just uh, Valentina likes having I long hair? I believe Valentina identifies as non-binary out of drag. Okay. I want to say, I want to say, I remember like shortly after All Stars 4, I want to say she came out as non-binary. Mm -hmm. I want to say, and you know. Or is it more, it's more of like a she, they situation. She, they. Yeah. Because I'm like, you know, it looks like that's their hair. That doesn't look like oh, yeah. wig. That, that is Valentina's hair. That That is grown out of the scalp. Out of the scalp. And so I'm just like, you know, is, 
Valentina just like on that precipice of like, I'm a woman, but I don't want to be a woman. I'm going to say she's in that, um, in that binary where she just, it's whatever mm. she's feeling pretty much. And she is feeling all woman right now. So I'm, I'm here she, for it. I'm she say she is stunning and I'll look into it more afterwards so that I make sure we're using the correct pronouns for Valentina. I, will, I always want to make sure that we're not disrespecting anybody. Mm-hmm. But baby, the hair flipping was everything. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I miss my hair. I'll be flipping it with you. Ah, ah. Oh yeah, especially during the mini challenge. Oh, <laughs> and we're gonna get to that mini challenge. Uh, but Valentina spent a moment just to flip the hair. All right, and now she's standing here and she's letting them know it's time for the mini challenge. And they have two minutes to give these boots a good old drag makeover. I'm like, you you couldn't give them at least ten minutes to do something with the boots? Uh, five minutes? Mm-hmm. She, Valentina said two minutes. Y'all got two minutes. Get to it. Get to it. Two minutes and a hot glue gun. Baby. So they went and they got it together. So afterwards, they got the little DJ situation set up, and Lolita popped up. I'm like, hey, Lolita. So um, now it's time for the mini challenge where they got to get down, get down. So yeah, I thought this was a cute mini challenge, just seeing them all dance and have a good time. You know, I'm a big Mm -hmm. fan of the silly mini challenges so that, you know, they can get, you know, a little steam off, you know, because it's a very stressful situation they're in. And then Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that Lolita and Valentina got out there and did a little something-something. Right. Lolita more than Valentina, but hey, we'll take what we're given, okay? Look. (laughs) So we found out that the winners of the mini challenge are Arginis and Matraka. And because they are the winners of the mini challenge, they are the team captains for the girl group challenge. So, after they selected their teams, we ended up with Arginis, Galavero, Christian, and Lady Kira. Kiro. I don't know why I keep trying to say Kira. This is not Reba, this is Kiro. Okay. And then we have Serena Marina, uh, Regina Voce, Margaret Iya, and Matraca on Team Matraca. Matraca, traca. So we go to the main stage. We see them record the song. And now it is time to hit the main stage for the performance. So we have Lolita and Valentina, our lovely co hosts here. And what do we think of these looks? And you know, I'm going to ask who had your favorite look this week? Lolita. Lolita had your favorite look? Mm-hmm. It seems like we're never going to agree because Valentina... You like... <laughs> Baby, she walked out and I'm like, oh, we're going to the 70s. I'm here for it. Uh, you know what? I've never been a fan of Valley of the Dolls. <laughs> Excuse me? I said I've never been a fan of Valley of the Dolls. You know what? Um, Krisha, go ahead and give them your socials. And I'm going to just go ahead and continue this out by myself because how dare you? Who <laughs> I look, it's a freaking movie about women taking drugs. Okay. <laughs> you know how many movies there are about people just taking drugs? Hell, there's a, there's a whole TV show, Euphoria, that's about children taking drugs. That's really oh. what that show is. I don't watch Euphoria for that reason. So you, you need to watch Euphoria, it's so good. Look, Even though it's going to be 2025 I, before the next season because of the writer's strike. But hey, if that's right. what it takes for people to get paid their fair due, mm-hmm. then maybe we can wait a little bit. Look, Zendaya and Tom Holland can get married and have a baby in that time. Why would you um, that? Anyway, let's get to the uh, mini challenge. Um, We are joined by Oscar. And I just have to say, I really enjoy Oscar. I feel like he is a wonderful addition to the family. And he's mm-hmm. never and he's never like mean. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he gives constructive criticism, but he's never like, mm, you know, I'm gonna get you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then our special guest judge, we are joined by Alejandra Bogue. Or Bo yeah, I think it's Bogue. I'm looking at my note. It's Alejandra Bogue. Mm-hmm. And she was stunning. She she was so supportive. She she just really she was happy to be there. 
You know, some right. guest judges get there and you're like, oh, honey, they're there to promote something. She was legit happy to be there. She was so impressed by everybody. I really enjoyed her. I really did. So, <laughs> it is now time for Asi Soy Yo. Up first, we have Las Palaquitas. 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 So, that was the team. Oh, I didn't get a screenshot of all of them together. Oh, my bad. I'd Whoops. like to get a screenshot of all of them together, but that's okay. <laughs> so we are with our Eunice's team. So we have our Eunice, Christian, Gala, and Lady Kiro. Up first, we have our Eunice. What do we think of her performance in the girl group? Okay. Here's the thing. Nobody did bad. Like, right. In both groups. In either group. Yeah. I do think her team was the weaker group. Yeah. But they didn't do bad. It was just compared to the other group. Yeah. You know, and like she did a good job. Um, mm-hmm. I do think she was the weaker of the team. But like I said, she, like I, I just feel weird, especially when there's challenges where like nobody did bad. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying like, you know, she's just boo boo garbage. It was just compared to everyone else. She was a B when everybody else's were A's. Mm hmm. And then Galavera was next. Oh my goodness. She slayed. <laughs> she really did. And somebody pointed this out on Twitter. I think it was Maddie Rance. Um, didn't the song sound like Cornbread's song from her talent show season 14? Ooh, I it's, knew it sounded It familiar. sounded like that instrumental. And I'm like, hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And when I was going back to get the screenshots, I'm like, I hear it. I mm. hear it. Oh, my goodness. And Jesus. I, <laughs> but, yeah, Gala did an amazing job. What did you think of Gala here with her split all out for everyone? <laughs> split, yeah. Um, I think she did pretty okay. Pretty okay. I thought she did amazing. I thought she did amazing. Up you next, know what? She performed really well, though. She does perform well. Up next is Lady Kiro. And uh, my same critique for her is same for Aryanis. It wasn't bad. Just compared right. to when you're looking at the group, Christian and Gala were like energy, amazing. Hers did lack energy. I will say it that. It was very low energy. Did a good job, but it was lacking that energy that we needed. Right. And then we have Christian who slayed. Like, Christian always yes. does an amazing job. Yes. And that was our first team. Las Pelicantes. Mm-hmm. Now, up next, we have Las Mexi Mommies performing the same song, I see, Soyo. Mexi Mas. And, um... Mexi Mas. Huh? Hello? Can you hear me? Are we offline? No, we're good on my side. Are you offline? I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. <laughs> Mexi Mamis. Mexi Mamis. Mexi Mamis. Mexi Mamis. Yeah, Mexi Mamis. Now, Mexi-mami. this group right here, eight. All four of them. Yes. Eight. I'm, I'm so confused on why they played in Serena's face. I'm so confused. Because all four, like, this was the group. I'm like, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. This one was really good. I, I don't I don't understand. Like, we can start off with Matraka. Um, and Matraka was eating. Yes. But, you know, they all said that they were scared of Matraka if they ever have the lip sync. So, we saw a little mm-hmm. bit of it here. And I'm right. like, she did a really Because she gave it, she like, did. 110%. And then moving on to Serena Morena. She did an amazing job. Like, mm-hmm. I, I just, I didn't understand the judges' critiques on her. I don't know. Because I episode thought possibly she could have been in the top when they found out they weren't judging them as teams. You know, I hate that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I was sitting there, and I'm like, oh, good, she'll have a good week in the top because she did such a good job. And they were like, nyeh, 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 nyeh. I'm like, whoa, 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 sis, sis come, come back. Mm. But, yeah, I felt like they played in Serena's face. Um, and then we have Margaret Eat Ya, 
who for me she was my least favorite in the group but that was mm-hmm. only because you could tell she's not a dancer right but they were smart with how they placed margaret Ia because they knew oh. she didn't dance well so they danced around her had her placed over here it reminded mm-hmm. me very much of what they did with eva laqueen in philippine season one yeah baby they placed eva in the middle and they worked around it mm-hmm. and i felt the same thing like we're here. you stand right here and we're gonna go left and they're gonna go right and we're gonna come back to you and then you're gonna and point you just and go do a walk and it's, it's gonna work and that's how it yes. was with margaret and i was really impressed by her and I, I okay it, now we're gonna put you in the front and we're gonna go around the back <laughs> and honestly that's the best thing to do if you have somebody on your team who's not the best dancer incorporate it honey don't just try to make them do the dance moves knowing they can't work around mm-hmm. it that's just the smarter way to handle it you know what i'm saying yeah. and then um our last one was Regina voce who is eight yes eight breakfast yes. lunch and dinner <laughs> breakfast lunch dinner she had a couple snacks up in there yes, yes. she had brunch she took a, a couple that. of mimosas, some peach bellinis. It was all good. All good. So, up next is the category. It's time for the runway. And the category oh, is Mexican Flowers. And we're going to talk about the lip sync song because I'm so glad we finally got a lip sync song from this person. Um, mm-hmm. But with the category being Mexican Flower, I think they missed an opportunity to use they really did. another song. They really did because they were like, yeah, this person's the song. And I was like, oh, Nope. 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 But anyway, let's get into these Mexican flowers. Up first, we have Margaret Ia. I thought this was interesting. Okay. Okay. Because I was like, if you say this eight, we're going to (laughs) fight. It won't be the first time we fought over looks. (laughs) But yeah, this, I I don't hate it. Right. I I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't like it either. I'm going to be honest. I don't get it. Like, it's a soft two, a soft one. Like, it's not bad. It's not bad, but... that That's me looking at the picture, like... <laughs> Up next yeah. is Galavero. Eight. Stun. Oh, my God. Look, mm-hmm. I, kn- I knew Love it, it was a Frida Kahlo, uh-huh. like, reference, like, right off the bat. Uh-huh. And you know me, I'm a not not necessarily an art aficionado. I like to dabble a little bit. Yeah, you get your I feet wet. You get your feet wet. Yeah, you know, I'll dip my toe in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. See if it's cold. Is it warm? I might dive in. Yeah. Like, for some weird reason, I'm, I've been looking at I'm starting to feel that Georgia way O'Keefe towards puzzles. other things, and I'll tell you, like, later. But like, Yeah, I've been to, looking up Georgia O'Keeffe puzzles all weekend. But, like, I'm so. starting to feel that way towards other things. And I'm like, am, am I finna Am I finna step? I don't know if I'm going to step in. But I'm, I, might, I might open the... I might, Crack the door open. Like, hey. He's gonna crack the door open. Oh no, I'm gonna shut it and lock it. Now it's shut <laughs> and locked. Bolt it. <laughs> but yes, Galavero looks stunning here. Stunning. Yes. Up next is Regina Voce. Again. Regina Voce. So yes. beautiful. So stunning. I wish the the butterflies had been on the opposite side of her head. She that, just looks that real is where I was finna, That is where I'm finna hit it. With having the big flower on the shoulder, it mm-hmm. would make more sense to have the butterflies on the other side of the head for a balance. Yep. But that's the only thing that gets yeah. Because that is stunning. It's stunning. Up next is Arianes. and I agree with Lolita when she came out. I'm like, didn't Paloma wear something similar to this? And when uh, Lolita said it, I'm like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I knew it, but mm-hmm. she still looked good. She still You're right. Good. It was a good look. Yeah. I-, I got Mother Nature Avatar vibes. Yeah. Up next is Serena Morena. Now, this is simple, but I thought this was good. I thought it was stunning. I understood mm-hmm. it. I got the Asian vibe. It does look like a, a-, a Korean wedding dress. <laughs> But yeah, I enjoyed it. Up next is Matraka. Now, I thought this was smart. I thought this was smart because she was, am I saying it right, the payata? Hold on, because I don't have Matraka. I, it goes Lady Kiro and then it goes Christian Parata. 
How did it? How does it skip Matraka? Don't know. Well, I have Matraka, so we're gonna talk about Matraka. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I thought it was really smart, and I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But the payota, payeta, the cactus that grows the flowers. I thought that was a smart look mm -hmm. because it's still flowers. It just grew from a cactus. Right. And I remember, especially Galavero, she just towards the, uh, after she won, she was like, mm, can't, we'll get to that. But I thought this was a smart look. I thought it fit the category. Yeah. So moving on I to know. Lady Kiro. This was gorgeous. I... This was gorgeous. Elegant, beautiful. I mean, it's a gorgeous dress. It's I just, just wish there was some more shape. It makes her look like a big, just one blob. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now I'm going to look Ugh. really, Excuse really me. crazy because I'm talking about Lady Hero's dress when I said it was Korean inspired. And yeah, because it went boom, boom, Lady Hero. I don't have any of the other pictures. That's weird that it skipped all the other ones. Yes. But yeah, so ignore the Serena Marina comment because when you said, I was like, huh? Well, maybe I just don't know the reference. So that's why I didn't continue that conversation. But you meant here for Lady Kiro. Yeah. Got you. Got you. So we're going to move on to Chris Jen. And this is stunning. Mm hmm. And I love how the skirt lit up. Yes. I think I would have chose a different hair color. Mm hmm. I think, but I think she was trying to be the yeah I, I I yeah yeah the pestle yeah I get it maybe maybe a different wig altogether would have worked better for me I don't know some something in the wig area mm -hmm. just isn't working for me you know what I'm saying or maybe it's the fact that it's like highlighter yellow and then it goes into this pale yellow on her face maybe I'm not sure so out of all these amazing looks. Who had your favorite look this week? Mm. Let me go back. Boop, 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 boop. I was going to say, there's a picture with all of them standing next to each other. I know. Galavaro had my favorite look. I agree with Galavaro as well. It was just stunning. It was stunning. Then Valentina says the thing that just pisses me off every time. Although you worked in teams, you will be judged individually. No. <laughs> no. Because this should have been a team effort. And me, I would have gave all of Team Matraca the win. So that would have been Matraca, Serena, Regina, I'm sorry, Regina, and uh, Margaret Ia. I would have gave them all four wins. Y'all not giving them no money. <laughs> Because y'all gave the money to the mini challenge winners again. Mm -hmm. So I would have gave the winning team to win, all four of them. And then unfortunately, Galavero, Christian, Argenis, and Lady Carol would have been the bottom team. Mm -hmm. And then I would have obviously would have made Christian and uh, Galo the safe out of the two and have Lady Carol and Argenis lip sync. Right. But it was just like, uh, stop playing in my face, okay? Y'all gonna make me mad. But <laughs> we are judged individually, and we have tops and bottoms. And give me a Give me a So in the top, we have Galavero, Matraca, Margaret Iya. And in the bottom, we have Lady Kiro, Arianes, and Serena Morena. Even with them judged individually, I don't, I don't get why Serena's in the bottom. Right. Even if you judge them individually, it should have been Aryanis and Lady Kiro. Now, granted, yeah. her look is a little simple. She could have been like, you know, the low placement where she got negative critiques, but she was mm -hmm. safe. Right. I just, I don't, I didn't get that. Because if you do judge them individually, I do agree with this top and bottom. Although, except for Margaret Iya, I would have put Rahina up there instead. Mm -hmm. I would have put Rahina. But it was just like, okay. But we find out that Galavaro is one of our winners this week. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo. And then they were going to continue, but Lolita's like, wait. She pulled out the fan. And Van mm -hmm. like, fuck it. Matraca, you're also a winner. Hey, and then, which I agreed with. That part. And then Gala 
it was being shady in the confessional saying Piote is not even a flower. They only gave her the wing because it's her birthday. I'm like, Gala, I love you. Keep being shady. <laughs> But I disagree with you here. I thought she did an amazing job in the challenge. Th she did a really good job in the challenge. Yes. So we find out that our bottom two is Yarnit, Aryanis, and Serena Marena. And it finally happened. We have got a Selena lip sync. Mm-hmm. Now, here's my thing. If I was in charge of the lip syncs, if I knew we had a category, Mexican flowers. Yes. I would have tried to get come on the floor. Exactly. Like, don't get me wrong. I love this song, too. And the mm -hmm. lip sync was everything. And we'll get to that here in a second. But, like, I was really shocked that it wasn't come on the floor. It just, it, it's just like it had to be. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The category is Mexican flowers. Like, come on the floor. It's, it's just, it was right there. But that's not what we got. Instead, we have this lip sync here. And well, I, I guess they didn't want to talk about, you know, people being in love with other people. <laughs> maybe. Um, but I will say this lip sync was amazing. I was thoroughly entertained. Honestly, if they would have just held out, this could have been the double save. Mm -hmm. Because I felt like both of them brought the Enough energy. to... Like, this has been my favorite lip sync so far on Drag Race Mexico. Definitely. Like, this was everything. And, like, yes. if I had to pick one, I guess Aryanis. Mm -hmm. But that's because she had them Selena moves down, honey. She was she was spin, 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 pop. Spin, spin, right. spin, pop. She had it down. Washing machine. I... <laughs> I was like, okay. But my thing is, the only thing is, the song ended weird. Did the song end weird to you? They stopped it like mid song. And like it was like, like it was playing. They got through like the first verse they played and the halfway second through verse, the chorus. And then we got through the chorus and it was like, hmm. I'm like, whoa, wait, what? No, keep going. And yeah, then they faded it out. And I was just like, that's not how the song ends. We waited 20 years for a damn song by Selena. Y'all could have gave us the full thing. 20 years. Yeah. No. But I will, I would love to see more uh, lip syncs from Selena on the show. Yes. And then, like maybe in America, you know, we can get "I Could Fall in Love" or "Dreaming of You." But you know, RuPaul hates giving ballots out. It's very far and few on the main series if they get a ballot without it being somewhere. Doom, 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 doom. Weird oh, dance mix. somebody's DJ mix. Yeah. I'll never forgive them for doing that to unbreak my heart. Baby. Right, because when Ruth said, "Unbreak my heart" by Tony Braxton, I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's gonna be good." And then I hear doom, 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 doom. I'm like, "Hold up, whoa, whoa!" Unbreak my heart. I'm like, "No, no, 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 no! Give us the ballot. I know it's probably cheaper to get the DJ mix, but baby, give us the ballot. Give it mm -hmm. to us. So if you give us dreaming of you, or if I could fall in love, don't you dare give us a dance mix. Mm. You let those queens park and bark, like okay?" But anyway, uh, Valentina and Lolita talked it out, and they decided to keep Aryanis and send home Serena Marina. I am so sorry, sis. They played in your face this episode. They really did. They really played in your face because you shouldn't I was have like, been nowhere. This should be like a double save. You should have no. You shouldn't have been nowhere near this bottom to begin with. No. Let's just be honest. But anyway. They did the uh, they did the to the moon to 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 the moon, and next week we find out that they will be doing the snatch game. I'm excited for the snatch game. I wonder if we'll know anybody, because <laughs> you know we're getting ready to talk about France, and I didn't know none of them. <laughs> none of them. Uh, so I wonder if we're gonna know any of the celebrities. I'm excited. I really am. Um, but yeah, another good episode of Mexico. They are killing it right now. Mm -hmm. They are killing it. They are killing it. Some of the judges' choices. Lolita, Valentina. We need to talk. I promise I'm not going to yell. Like We just need to talk. Because y'all are pointing in my face. But other than that, <laughs> we are good here. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap things up. Krisha, where can they find you on social media? You can find me at Krisha McGill on 
at C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.